Hey, this is Augie, Augie's Locker Room. When you come to the store, you're going to see things that you've probably never seen before unless you've been to a museum. Great items that go back to the Rockney era to the present. Website, augieslockerroom.com. Visit us here or the website. Notre Dame holds Navy under 200 yards and wins 34-6, to keeping them out of the end zone altogether. And after a couple slow drives there in the first quarter, Notre Dame started to pull away. But I think a key play, really, at 10-3 to was that touchdown pass 70 yards from Cohen to Kevin Austin. Yeah, that was huge. I mean, that was so unexpected because of the way the game was transpiring for Notre Dame to be up a couple touchdowns going in at the break was not expected. I, I thought the offense was just lethargic coming out. And... Uh, they spun their wheels a little bit, but you know the defense is the side of the football that had the most to prove going into yeah. this game because of what had been happening, and it sounded like in talking to Brian Kelly and a couple defensive players that there was a heavy emphasis on, on the defense uh, against the scout team this week, and it was pretty spirited, and the mm -hmm. scout team was not afraid of letting them know when they had successes. So the onus was on the defense, and they certainly came through, as you said, holding them under 200 yards, and, and finally the offense provided – just enough. You know, the Navy defense, I know people don't want to hear it per se, but they're pretty good. Their linebackers are really, really good, and um, they put Notre Dame in a couple spots, and they, they didn't respond, but when they had to, they, they had enough. Well, they make you make you uncomfortable a little bit because you don't know where to attack. It seems like they're inviting you to gain some yards, and you still need patience, and uncomfortable is the word that Jack Kaiser and J.D. Bertrand used for what the scout team yeah. offense did, and the only group that wasn't uncomfortable apparently was the interior defensive line because I think the four of them, Lacey, Heinish, Jason Adamiola, and uh, and Ian Kianene came in. K and yeah. I even got a, a pressure. I think believe they had 12 of like 24 stuffs tonight. That was the group that won this game. Yeah, and the fullbacks, you know, there was a heavy emphasis on the fullbacks, yeah. and traditionally that's what you want to take away first. And the top two fullbacks for Navy had 25 carries for 76 yards, and that's three yards a carry, and that's taking them away. But Kurt Heinish has never had a, a, a game like that. He was just manhandling the left guard. He was so quick off the snap. And I didn't really think that Heinish had played Kurt Heinish football since coming back from the concussion. Right. He certainly did tonight and, and, and was dominant. And um, as you said, all those interior guys had a shot and came through. Unique defense, too. Jack Kaiser playing safety. I found it interesting when Brian Kelly said Jack's as fast as any of our safeties. I'm not sure he would want to say that again if he could take that one back. But Jack Kaiser at the back of the defense, he mentioned they needed to bend the quarterback and fullbacks back. I thought it was just important that on the rare occasions Ruas would get through or someone would get through, Kaiser was making important yeah. tackles that maybe Houston Griffith, DJ Brown, some of those guys don't don't make. Well, I, when you're facing a, such an anemic passing attack, yeah. you don't yeah. have to be as quick against the pass on the back end. And and remember we were watching pregame and it's like is Kaiser working right. with the safeties or what what is he doing there? And then we then we actually got a really good view of it during the game. But he did a great job. Xavier Watts came in and yeah. was physical. I'm sure, you know, there's a lot to learn against more uh, traditional and standard offenses, but at least he came out and was physical. But as you said, the interior defensive line won the day for Notre Dame's defense. Step forward for Kevin Austin. I would think he has been inconsistent, but this this you would think would be a, a step of the right direction for him going to a game where you're going to need a lot more points against Virginia. Brian Kelly touched on that. He mentioned you go from USC, North Carolina to Navy, now Navy to Virginia, and even throughout the all hands on deck. You mentioned Xavier Watts at safety. I think. We spin it forward a little bit because we asked the players about it as well. What's it going to be like to going to a team now that's going to throw throw more than 50 times in the game, especially depending on how many possessions they get? That number could continue to climb. Yeah, and, you know, Notre Dame's situation at receiver now is not good at all because it sounds like Avery, I mean, Avery Davis clearly has a knee injury. I guess NBC reported that it was serious, and Brian Kelly said he would let us know what their plans are moving forward. But, you know, I, uh, Lorenzo Styles, who we were surprised wasn't getting yeah. getting a lot of snaps, is certainly going to get a bunch now. Somebody has to move to the slot. Uh, probably him. He would yep. probably be the most likely candidate. Braden Lindsay, a little bit inconsistent, but a tremendous catch on the two-point conversion. And now you're into the back portion of the season, the last 25%. Kevin Austin needs to play like a veteran. Braden Lindsay needs to play like a veteran. These people, and then you have the two freshmen. So yep. these guys are going to have to step up and fill the void. Uh, because Avery Davis is going to be out for a while anyway. It, and it wasn't easy today, but we probably have to mention Kyron Williams because he would, other than Austin, he would be the offensive MVP of this contest. He he turned a lot of nothing or not enough yards into something, including the touchdowns, some third-down conversions. 
he's just the MVP of the team at no, this point. He's, he's tremendous. And, and you know, really, I mean, that linebacker core for Navy, they tackle yeah. really, really yeah. well. But Kyron Williams changes the equation for everybody that he goes against and w- was able to get 95, you know, pretty tough yards uh, for, for him. And, and he made a lot of guys miss. But when you can do that against that linebacking core, um, that's Kyron Williams. That's what he does. On the road after three straight at home, Notre Dame 34, Navy 6.